Hey everyone, it's me Jaime here, vlog 19, getting close to that 20th. We're here on Easter, Easter Sunday if you're into that. I'm not, I am, um, but people that are, more power to you. My mom, excuse me, super religious lady, well very, very religious of the Catholic kind and uh, she, she liked Easter and uh, for me it was just kind of uh, whatever. Um, this is my second take by the way of this this vlog, I just did one and it was 10 minutes, over 10 minutes long. And I'm like, nah, even though I felt everything I said and it was fairly pertinent and maybe interesting, it's now thrown out and I'm doing a new short one. <laughs> so I'm gonna get right to it. The mail call. Yes, I went to the post office. The new White Buffalo Gazette is out. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Full of a lot of, a lot of cartoonists, fantastic cartoonists. Lots of great work. Um, all over the place. There's Steve Laffler right there, for example. He's a guy that is a great cartoonist, a buddy of mine that writes songs and we play music together, as well as he screen printed those t-shirts of mine that are available on corntortillapress.com. That's corntortillapress.com. Go to the shop page and you'll see them. We have men's and women's cuts, sizes small to triple XL and all points in between. Um, there's also a littler book they put out there about a cactus jam, which uh, my letter made it into the cactus jam. This is a, a, a lot of fun too. A lot of the same cartoonists. There's like 50 or 60. I'm just trying to find a, a an example page here. Everybody can go, ooh, ah, whatever. Here we go. Ooh, ah, yes. Really great stuff in here. Um, and I was in that. I've been in White Buffalo Gazette well over 30 years. And then they include, I sent... A 12-page story, that's the front, that's the back, and there's stuff in between about cactuses. It's kind of my history of how cactuses got here. Obviously, it's fiction. And uh, don't, don't it hit me up to sell these. I don't have prints of these. This is the only one I have. Um, Tom, he also goes by Max and Buzz. He's the one that printed them up. And as for his White Buffalo Gazette for sale, are any of these for sale? I don't know. I'll look into it. It's generally just for the artists. And like I said, there's anywhere between 50 and 70 of us. So, you know, he puts something together, you know, and then prints them up and sends them to all of us, which is wonderful. It's all, we get to see each other's work and, and kind of keep in contact that way. Uh, a big thank you, a big heartfelt thank you to my cousin, Sharon. Um, we never owned a camera when I was a kid. And uh, my mother used to half jokingly say, Thank God for Little League and school, or there'd be no pictures of me in my childhood. A few friends have taken, I've landed in some photos, but, you know, moreover, I, there's, it's almost nothing. Um, but here she sent a picture of me and my parents. I think that was like the month before my mom and I took off to uh, San Francisco for a few years. My father was to die a couple years after this photo was taken. And uh, here's me and the old man. Uh, same night, same place. I don't know where these were taken. Um, yeah, we're just cutting it up there on the picture. But anyway, it's thank you, Sharon, so much, so much. When this shit show pandemic ends, I'll come visit you, and I'll also buy a frame and put this in a place of honor. Other than that, I'm not drawing today. Um, I have been deep into. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because. Yeah, we're reading and we're watching movies, but um, those of you that know me, I come from a restaurant family. My, at least my mother grew up in a restaurant family. My grandfather, all great cooks. I'm I'm a good cook when I want to be, but I'm just not interested. I eat, and around here, I'm 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 the dishwasher here. Amy's the cook. I I just clean up. Um, but I've been getting into these baking shows. Before this all hit, I got into the British Bake Off one, which I love. But I've been watching now during the pandemic shit show, the uh, kids bake off show. So it's been a lot of fun. So we'll probably watch some of those days on. It's on Hulu, I believe. And I don't know what network. Maybe the Food Network would be my best guess. Because if you don't have Hulu, you probably find it there. Other than that, like I said, no drawing. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Just a lot of chillaxing. Wearing Eric Garcia's Tamale Man shirt today with pride. Hopefully he sees this. Uh, he <laughs> Eric's a great cartoonist and a fantastic muralist and artist. So Eric J. Garcia, go go look him up, man. You'll you'll be really, really impressed with his work. And he's become a buddy. And we actually tossed around the idea of that's where I invented the little character uh, Elote Man. 
and um, we were thinking of just half joking, but we might do it down the line when things get a little lighter in our workloads of maybe having a one shot book with both of them. I don't know if they'll be frenemies or, or, or arch enemies or what, but we'll see when that happens. If it happens, not in a hurry. Also, my Yamamori Giants, I got this in Japan uh, when I was over there, oh, I don't know, maybe close to 20 years ago. Just stoked that, you know, I knew Japan had a Giants and I grew up a San Francisco Giants fan. So there you go. All right, kids, uh, that's about it for me today. Uh, hopefully you're all staying indoors. I had to go on a provisions run and I noticed a lot of people were out frolicking. Did see a lot of face masks, saw a lot of families and just people just tooling around. I don't know what to tell you. But hopefully this this we lower that curve even more. Let's try. Let's also have a sense of humor out there, okay? Come on. It's that's what life's all about, man. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. It, it helps solve the pain and the boredom. And I know you're bored. I know you're bored. But as I've said on previous things, let's be thankful that we have roofs over our heads, that we're not in war-torn areas, that you know we're not in the shoe at Pelican Bay. Um just relax man read write uh watch this stupid vlog watch other vlogs there's lots of stuff on youtube uh call somebody we have telephones you know it seems like nobody calls anyone anymore i gotta call a friend today so other than that yeah that's what's going down wash your hands a lot be kind to one another because at the end of the day we have each other and that's very important all right everybody thank you for indulging me with these hopefully i'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks.